All right, here we are at our approximately 30 by 48 foot two-story, approximately 2,400 square foot floating cabin for sale. Today we're coming to you from the beautiful fresh waters of Boone Lake in East Tennessee. And as you will notice, this one is basically connected to land via a very small walkway. This will allow you to park your vehicle with a very short walk to your own floating cabin. Now another thing that might uh, catch your eye is this one. This is uh, construction on this one was finished in 2012 and it is floating on top of basically heavy gauge HDPE custom pontoons that have been foam filled with closed cell Coast Guard approved foam. Additionally, the mooring for this, you can kind of see the uh, little bit of a um, framing kind of going alongside. This is basically, uh, this floats from about um, April through November each year. Okay, and uh, when this comes down at uh, Winter Pool, it sits in a custom built cradle. So basically floats during boating season and then basically rests in a cradle uh, when it's not boating season. And, um, and you can see those, uh, those piers are basically designed to, uh, to allow this uh, cabin to uh, raise up and down. We're basically at Summer Pool right now. Boone Lake did undergo some uh, repairs to their dam. And um, everything is, is done and repaired. And we're back to, uh, to boating as usual up here. So this was a custom built, custom designed. They're basically a, uh, a local custom home builder. And he used this as a, um, basically a residence, vacation residence for himself for several years and just recently has uh, retired and I'm um, actually looking to, uh, to move out of the country. So it is offered up for purchase. Now, as you can see right here on the rear deck, I've, um, I've pulled this deck board up intentionally because I want to show you um, a look of these um, these pontoons. So these are basically this is basically over constructed. Um, you can see. Let me get on the light for you here, so you can see a little bit better. I went too far with that light. Okay. Um, so we've got one of those basically fully submerged, and then um, your larger tunes are basically mostly sitting up out of the water. And here's that uh, foam filled um, styrofoam that I was telling you about. And we've got um, a lot of schematics on this. We, we can share a lot of information about the build and about the construction um, and all those details. So if you've got questions about this one, uh, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Contact, you can contact us through our website. Um, now, as always, we will have a direct link to the listing of this one at our website down in the video uh, description of this one. So now while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and show you in this uh, utility closet. Uh, this is basically a backup uh, generator power. This is a 9,000 uh, watt power horse generator that uh, that they basically put in to have backup power. And then you've also got uh, basically some storage back here as well. I'm going to close that off. And there's another utility closet over here. This is equipped with basically um, onboard fire sprinkler system. Um, we've got R13 insulation in the exterior walls. And then essentially we have a uh, R30 um, on the floor along with a vapor barrier and then um, another R30 um, in the ceiling. So here's your, um, your basically your water filter system. Now because you are connected um, or you're moored so close to shore, you can see there's your shore power cable. It's coming from that power pole. This is metered through a local utility company. 
um, and then your water basically comes from shore as well and let me go ahead and close this closet back off now we've got uh, two large hundred uh, pound propane tanks back here um, as well and I um, also want to point out we've got some nice composite decking back here um, on this rear porch as well uh, waste pump outs uh, because everything here on Boone Lake is, is like Norris Lake all your wastewater uh, basically goes into a waste holding tank uh, pump out for that is actually right here and essentially whenever you've got uh, approximately about 600 gallons of um, uh, waste uh, storage capacity and essentially whenever you need a pump out local septic company just pulls right pulls right uh, over here and runs their hose over and empties your uh, waste tank now this has also been uh, plumbed for gray water collection now that uh, that requirement has not taken place yet but should it ever um, take place there was some talk of that with TVA regulations and for now it is is not being collected or not being mandated to be collected but uh, should that day come this one has essentially kind of already been plumbed for that gray water to uh, to go to that same waste tank so uh, coming in through your entry door here I do you want to point out we've got a nice little closet right here next to your uh, entryway a little coat closet and, and of course this Brunswick billiard table probably caught your eye right when we walked in. This is um, approximately about 1,400 square feet on the main level and about another 1,020 square feet on the upper level. We've got three bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms. Small little office desk and uh, chair right here by that main entryway and then I've got um, essentially, I've just got the blinds raised on this uh, door right here because I want to show you this is basically where you can access this by water, park your uh, runabout, your pontoon boat, or what have you, um, and you can basically just step uh, right out from your boat, step right in through this uh, side entry door here. So this has a nice mooring location, quiet spot down here near the end of the Marina Harbor. You're basically right on a main channel. And we've got, um, you also probably noticed whenever we were staying on the, uh, the side of the, uh, or staying on shore before I walked over the uh, little walkway, there's also uh, a pair of Goodman um, heat pumps, residential HVAC units. There's two of those, one for the lower level, one for the upper level. We've got some uh, beautiful uh, engineered floors. Uh, I believe this is Brazilian teak. Down here on this main level, we've got uh, Brazilian walnut on the upper level. This is a Brunswick billiard table. We've got a hot springs, hot tub, and of course you've also got a little privacy curtain that um, will go around that. And you've also, of course, you've got the two uh, patio doors right there that you can open up. Get you some nice. Uh, nice outdoor air coming in. This cabin was basically overbuilt, so if you've got any questions on the construction of it and anything like that, again, uh, just feel free to reach out to us through our website. We've got a lot of details on this one. Uh, a lot of it just very custom in nature. Now, uh, this is a 65-inch Vizio HD flat screen television. And as you can see, we've got uh, Polk audio equipment. We've got a Yamaha receiver, Sony Blu-ray player, and uh, we've also got Polk surround sound. There are three different um, 60 and 65 inch. Uh, we've got one 65 inch, that'd be this one here, and then two 60 inch uh, Vizio HD television systems. All of them have their own surround sound system. Um, then also over here in our uh, corner here, we could see the back of this from that exterior storage closet. We've got a little beverage uh, refrigerator, a wine cooler right there. Call your attention to that. And nice little uh, recliner sofa as well. Two bar tables in this area right here. And of course you've got the uh, 
dartboard over there in the corner. And then right here off of um, this main level here, we've got our uh, half bath. We've got residential uh, toilets in this one. Now uh, that's basically just winterized. I'll look at it's our winterized because the, uh, the owner has, has um, essentially um, left the cabin, no longer using it. So they, they kind of went uh, a little bit thorough and uh, did a full winterization of the plumbing. Um, systems, all, all the plumbing systems on board here. So we do have a small little vanity sink and then again residential toilet right there. Got another nice large utility closet right here off this main level and this also houses our that is a 80 gallon Whirlpool electric water heater. Internet is available here at this site. well as uh, cable television. Now there is a mooring uh, fee for this because you are within a marina's harbor, so you will pay a mooring fee. Um, and then plus your utilities. Uh, I believe that mooring fee for the 2022 season is $5,000 for the year. And then as you can see, as we enter into our kind of open kitchen, dining room, living room area, We've got another Vizio, that is a 60 inch HD television. We do have a propane fireplace just below it. And uh, again, you've also got surround sound in this area as well. Lots of windows out here in this area right here. And then of course we've got high-end audio equipment over here. Another Yamaha receiver and other Samsung, uh, well, that's a, the first of the two Samsung Blu-ray players and then um, second Yamaha receiver there. Now, uh, this audio system is um, all, um, all tied in together so you can have same audio going across all the systems or you can have those all separate. But again, there's also got the surround sound here as well in this corner over there and back over here in this corner. And over here, so you got all four corners, you got uh, subwoofers, single recliner chair and a larger dual recliner sofa. And then you've got nice tiled bar area connected to your kitchen. Dining table right over here. And all residential appliances on this one. We've got frigid air gallery residential appliances. We got a nice double kitchen sink. That's a Frigidaire gallery dishwasher. Five burner smooth top oven and range. Over the range Frigidaire gallery microwave. We've got a Keurig coffee maker, can opener, knife set, some silverware, some pots and pans. Wine glasses. This is basically being so fully furnished. I believe all the uh, personal items that the uh, seller was wanting to hang on to have been removed. And then we've got a um, side by side frigid air gallery uh, refrigerator freezer. It does have ice and water in the door. Now we've got some pretty good sized rollers coming in here right now. And this cabin does not move much. And when it does, it kind of moves as one unit uh, because of how well it is constructed. You feel a little bit of movement of it, uh, a little bit up and down, but it all kind of moves as one unit. 
And we're going to head out. We've got a nice little covered, covered patio out here. Um, and this is fully covered over top. We've basically got a uh, integrated gutter system that's going to uh, catch any rainwater from that upper deck level and drain it down so that you know, all your patio furniture out here can stay dry. Also got a nice little uh, sunshade or privacy curtain. Two ceiling fans overhead. Fire pit out here along with a nice large side large size master forge stainless gas grill with the side burner you can kind of look at the uh, lake out here additionally we do have those uh, sunshades or privacy curtains over here on the um, be the left hand side of this patio as well or left hand if you're looking out the lake so you can kind of close all that off some boat dock tie up cleats down here as well It's just hard to do this one justice with the uh, kind of the custom nature of this and all the equipment on board. But again, any questions, just make sure you reach out to us through the website. Don't monitor the YouTube comments, so if you do have um, serious questions, all you got to do is either head over to our website at www.yournewboat.com or again, just scroll down into the uh, video description down below the video that you're watching right now. There'll be a direct link to this one where you can view it. Um, you can either uh, click that link or copy and paste that into your web browser and that will take you right to the listing page for this one. We're going to see all the, all the details. We're going to have lots of photos of it. Um, and then, of course, that's where you're going to be, find all of our contact information, where you'll be able to reach out to us by phone, by text, or by email. Now, as we transition upstairs, I do want to call your attention. Um, all of this trim work pretty much stops whenever we get upstairs. They just did not get around to ever finishing this out. Basically comes up the, uh, the stairway and then stops right there. So and that's going to continue basically up the walls as well. Now, uh, above all your doorways, you're going to see that um, that line and that sheetrock goes straight up vertical, and that is meant for that trim to go up vertical. Um, it was it was thought with the um, with these cabins because they do tend to kind of move above the water that they wanted that trim to go vertical so that uh, they would avoid any cracking in that sheetrock. Well, solid as this one ended up, I don't think they, they really had to do that, but it's, um, it is a good idea because these, these can have some flex, you know, because it is, it is floating on top of water. So, but again, just want to call your attention that basically none of the trim up here on the upper level has been finished. Again, just about a thousand and, and twenty um, square feet up here. And yes, there is your own full um, laundry room. That's a uh, GE steam technology washing machine and a separate full-size LG front loading dryer. Small little folding table over here. You got room for your ironing board. All your products. You got power and uh, cable up here if you want to have television ran up here as well and then of course you've got your breaker panel in here as well now here is our first of three bedrooms this is the smallest of three bedrooms this is a full-size bed
Very nicely decorated. All this, um, all this decor is going to be staying. And then we've got a nice closet as well. And now I just want to call your attention to uh, to base our window trail. So this is looking down into the uh, down into the parking area. Uh, but I do want to call your attention because the windows have not um, been trimmed out either. But we do have um, insulated windows. All right, we're turning the hallway. And here's your second bedroom. This one is queen size. Of course, you got uh, plenty of room to go larger if you wanted to. Nice stands on either side. Now this would be access into um, basically utility room where uh, one of those um, interior air handlers is is installed. I believe, I believe we've got an air handler on this side. Yeah, it's right over there. And uh, and there's that um, that vapor barrier. And of course you've got that. R30 insulation on the other side of it. And uh, that's that's semi um, conditioned or semi air conditioned in there. It, um, actually felt nice in there whenever I opened that door just now. So another window over here and then another uh, the closet right here as well. Now downstairs we had um, eight foot ceilings. Uh, up here we've got nine foot ceilings. And then this bedroom is connected to a full bathroom. We've got a uh, shower and tub here in the guest bathroom. Another residential toilet, vanity sink. We've got tiled excuse me, a tiled bathroom floor. And here's that staircase that we came up. Now we're going to have a look at the master bedroom. Now here, I believe that's about a 15 and a half foot cathedral ceiling here in the master bedroom. And then uh, because they have not uh, finished trimming this out up there, you also notice here about fire sprinkler up there as well. Ceiling fan overhead. Um, and then of course we've got two really Good looking beams up here and, and if you know they've kind of partially finished the one and the other one has not been finished with the trim work yet. Now this is another 60 inch Vizio HD flat screen television and here we've got another Samsung Blu-ray player um, and of course Polk Audio surround system, another Yamaha receiver and um, Again, you've got the full surround sound here. You've got one up there in that corner. And that uh, doors and windows have not been finished trimmed out yet. And um, it's got your uh, surround sound in all of those corners of the room. King size master bed, small little lounge, dresser, two, uh, two nightstands or end tables. So might stand in tables in the living room, and another um, gas fireplace here. There is an alarm system equipped with this one. You've got uh, a keypad up here in the master bedroom. Another one down there by that entryway. And you got a we got a real treat for you here in our master bathroom. We've got large. This is a uh, steam shower with a whirlpool tub. 
you can basically come in here and you turn this on and you set what you're looking for, whether you want to uh, do a steam shower, want to have, um, have it filled up. For a jacuzzi tub, see all the shower heads, you've got the, the one straight overhead, you've got um, the, uh, the nozzles basically going up and down and, and then you've also got the tub here. Certainly a nice feature if you've, if you've been out on the water all day, out in the sun all day, that could be a very relaxing way to end the day. You've got a tile vanity here and your master bath, lots of storage, and then we've got um, your uh, your master toilet is in um, is in its own little room here, so you got plenty of privacy in here. And again, those those have just been winterized. Also got a little cabinet storage cabinet overhead, and uh, we do have that tile floor throughout all of the um, master bathroom. Now we've also got two large walk-in closets. Do not often see this these kind of uh, finishing touches um, in the floating cabins. Get some integrated shelving here. Uh, now these tanks actually were used um, when uh, when the owner was spending um, a lot more time on the in the cabin during the winter months. Um, and they were basically just uh, using it to uh, using those tanks to bring uh, water. I actually had those in his uh, vehicle and would uh, refill those with fresh water and uh, provide him some fresh water throughout the winter season because uh, they do uh, they do shut the water off here uh, here at the marina. Now, um, if you are wanting to use this more year round, you you can utilize those water tanks. You can also put in a uh, a water maker system where you uh, draw lake water up. And um, and have that that water treated and uh, and made potable for you. Uh, and that's another way to have nice year-round water as well. And then we've got another large walk-in closet over here on the other side. So basically, his and hers walk-in closets. Um, you've even got a window here in this one. Again, the um, Trim work has just not been finished yet. Better look in the mirrors, I'll raise that up for you. And I step out onto the upstairs patio as well, so you we can really take in the view up here. A nice quiet marina harbor here. I should point out that they do not allow um, rentals here. Um, this one um, within this marina harbor, um, and part of the reason that it is so quiet is they do not allow vacation rentals here. Um, so this is basically just for personal use, vacation home, or summer home, or you know you you can um, can be here during the winter months if you. Are willing to put a water maker system on board, or even carry on your own uh, drinking, cooking water during the off season. We're, we're going to have some great aerial shots of this one again at that website. All you got to do is scroll down, uh, use that direct link that we're putting for you down in the uh, the video tour, and you'll be able to click right over to our website. You're going to see. It's a good um, exterior shots of this one. We can kind of see where it's located here in the harbor and, uh, and good views all around it here.
Again, this is approximately 2,400 square feet. Very easy access from that parking area right over to your cabin. And basically right here on the main channel. Um, now, even though during the winter months, you will, that the cabin will kind of sit down in this uh, cradle that's uh, constructed underneath the cabin. You're still going to have year-round water here if you keep your boat uh, during the winter months you'll be able to uh, get a slip for it here at the marina and you can uh, continue to be on the water 365 if you want to and again this will be floating from mid-april through late october so again just kind of a lot on this one uh, we did not go into a whole lot of details on the construction and things like that um, we'll, we'll have some of that post it at our, at our website. But anybody that wants any more details on this one, uh, please reach out to us through the website. And we do like to remind you when you are contacting us, keep in mind that we do not monitor the YouTube comment page. So if you do have any questions, please take that direct link over to our website. Once you do make it there, you're gonna see all of our contact information all over the place there. You'll be able to reach out to us by phone, by text, or by email. We do like to remind you if you send us an email and it's been one business day and you have not gotten our email reply, please check your spam folder. We have a high rate of our reply emails landing in everybody's spam folders. Uh, we're generally uh, going to have an email response back to you within just a matter of a few hours during a uh, normal business day. Uh, but um, almost always within one business day. So anytime you've sent us an email, if you have not gotten our reply, check your spam folder. Also keep in mind that uh, we're, we cover several areas um, in East Tennessee and not all of the areas that we sell boats off of is their good cell phone reception everywhere. So if you do get our voicemail, please remember, leave us a message, let us know which listing you're looking at, what questions you have. Um, if you do not leave us a message, we likely will have no idea that you called because of um, how frequently we are in areas without cell, without cell phone reception. So, again, if you send us an email, check your spam folder for the reply. If you call us on the phone, you get our voicemail, and you want somebody to call you back, just make sure you leave a message. And again, let us know what questions you have and what listing you're looking at. As soon as we either finish with the customer or get back into cell phone, uh, range we will return that call and answer all those questions for you and you also see our info there on our website where you'll be able to send us a text message as well that's great if you just got a uh, real quick question about one of the listings feel free to do that as well again by phone by text or by email and that's going to wrap things up for this beautiful custom built floating cabin for sale here on the fresh waters of Boone Lake in East Tennessee. Step right back off the side, back to where we started. Let you get a few looks of this one again here on the exterior. And again, I thank you for joining us. This has been the uh, approximately 2,400 square foot floating cabin for sale here on Boone Lake. Uh, this is registered uh, with TVA. And it, again, it's approximately 30 by 48 foot two-story floating cabin. Uh, we've got a 12 by 30 foot. Um, I guess you'd probably call it the front porch is going to be the covered patio um, out there on the water side. And then back here on the land side, we've got about a six by uh, 30 foot um, uncovered deck. And that's got the composite decking on it. And then you've also got the balcony off the uh, master bedroom on the upstairs level and i thank you again for joining us it has been um, a real pleasure showing you this one here and again again any questions please reach out to us through the website all that direct link it is there for your convenience and i thank you again for joining us